Now, seeing as how the hair is a little bit shorter, I'm not actually grabbing my free section and holding that. Hey guys, it's Danielle Downs. Thank you for joining me today. Today, we are going to be doing flat twists. We're gonna start off with two strands, separating this front section into two. We are going to grab one section in between the ring finger and middle finger, cross that over, and grab that. Now, the other side, which is underneath, is going to be in our thumb and forefinger. With my free hand, I'm gonna be grabbing the loose hair, keeping that pretty taut, and then just using my nail to separate a section, feed that into my thumb and forefinger. And now we've got our two sections again. I'm gonna cross the section that I just fed hair into underneath, grab that again with my ring and middle finger. Now the section that was in the front, that was initially in my ring finger and middle finger is now. So in between my thumb and my pointer finger, and again, feeding that in, crisscrossing, making sure the hair is taut, but not to the point that it would be painful. Now we're at the bottom, we are going to be two strand twisting. So in order to know that your two strand twist is correct and it's gonna lock, make sure that your thumbs are at the top. On your right hand side, you're gonna twist until your pointer finger is on top and your left hand, the thumb is still up top and you're gonna cross that over. And then same, twist, turn and lock, twist, turn and lock and you're just gonna be doing that all the way down the hair strand. Let that slightly unravel, and now we have our next little section. And I'm also doing different sizes, just because, but our section here is actually coming down to a little bit more of a V. So you can see that this section comes down to a V in the back, and in the front, my section is a lot wider, so that's where my partings are actually gonna be a lot wider at the base and then skinnier when we get back to the head. And the reason that I'm doing that is, like I said, you have to take into account the space that you're working with, but also the design that you wanna do. So everybody's a little different with how they do that. I always start off practicing with just simple straight back sections because that is a lot easier. I also like to practice with larger sections. Now we always wanna make sure that the hair is nice and detangled. So starting off with the ends, working our way up. All right, so we got our everyday leave-in treatment from Clean Beauty. The Lavender Mint Taming Cream. This is great for giving it a lot of slip. It has Manoi, Pecky and jojoba oil. Then finishing it off with the lavender mint nourishing oil. So as I said before, I'm gonna be going a little bit wider right in the front and then making it a little bit skinnier and more narrow in the base. So separating that into two sections, grabbing that larger section of hair in my hand, using my nail to separate a section, feed that into my first strand, cross that underneath, bring my smaller new section in, and again, using my nail to just make a nice even section parting, crisscrossing over.
So basically what I usually do for breaking up curls is that I just separate the bigger knot from everything else so that way I'm not like compacting it and getting it involved with the rest of the hair, that's okay. All right, so this is the mannequin that we cut. Now you can see that this is something that you can do on just about any length. Like my previous mannequin, that was more of a medium length, pretty easy to work with. This one, we're gonna get a little bit more in depth with how we do our finger dexterity so that we can make sure we're keeping it really nice and even and taut when you're working with short hair. So now, working with my shorter section here, I'm going to pick up my two strands, separating that, twisting over, still doing that same motion where I am locking in the section that is right against the scalp with my ring finger and middle finger, and then crossing over, bringing that forward, and now, the hair that was in the front is now in front of me, and I'm keeping that in between my thumb and my index finger. Now, seeing as how the hair is a little bit shorter, I'm not actually grabbing my free section and holding that the way that I was with the other because it's just too short. So, as you can see, we still get that nice rope braid that goes right along the section and ridge of the hair, making it very easy to work with. As you can see, even on this shorter length, you can still catch the hair, bring that all the way down, keeping that close to the scalp itself, and making that into an all-around finish style. So I'm gonna take this in one large one so we can finish that off. And this is also a great example of when you got your hydration perfect and even with combing it out, curls are popping. All right, so we're just gonna do one large guy right here. All right, so taking our two strands, this one, because it's gonna be a really large section, I'm actually going to take that as a diagonal section so that it'll disappear and when the hair is locked over like this, what happens is you don't get a split it actually forms into one neat little bun section. Now with the larger section, you just have to make sure that it stays detangled. So now, we're gonna take everything all into one, and we're gonna pull everything nice and taut, wrap that around itself, making a nice little bun here. And then, of course you're gonna to wanna to get hair that matches, but because of my hair journey over the years, I've got a lot of different colors. Also, I wanted you to be able to see it. So this right here is a little ponytail that actually has a little comb inside. So it's called a drawstring bun or drawstring ponytail. So the great thing about protective styles is that they're great bases to add things like this to so that you can make it into a whole new style. Now, we just grab the strings, tighten those up so that it's really secure around that tiny, tiny little bun. And now we get that little comb that in there and you can let this stand free on its own another thing that you can do is much like our bun hawk video you can make that into a nice little style so 
that is our flat twist style for today. Join our community at freesaloneducation.com. And if you have any questions, feel free to message me, especially on Instagram at the hands downs. Always love communicating with you guys and just talking hair.